Social Media Management Tools 2023. In today's video, I'm sharing with you my favorite social media management tools that you can use for content idea generation, content creation, writing captions, and as well scheduling your content. So basically everything you need to do as a social media manager or anyone who creates social media content. Let's dive right in with the first tool that will help you generate content ideas. Now this tool I'm gonna share for several different steps. It's brand new as of the time of this recording and it's magic. It can do so many different things. I absolutely love it. And I'm gonna use an example for you guys that I actually use in real life. I do social media for a Pilates studio. So right now I wanna come up with content ideas for this Pilates studios. Let's dive right into this tool. It's called ChatGPT and you go to chat.openai.com. Then you're gonna type in content ideas Pilates studio. And while the tool is coming up with all these ideas, I would love for you to subscribe to this channel. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Now we have already some different ideas that we can use for our Pilates studio. So you go to this tool and you can just enter anything. We're gonna use it for other things as well, but right now you can see all these different things. If you don't like it, you can, you can ask for more things, you can ask for different versions of it, or you can be more specific in, I just wrote content ideas Pilates studio. I could also write content ideas Instagram Pilates studio, right? So it gives you uh, so many ideas. That's number one. Number two, we want to create content that really answers our audience question. So we want to make sure that whatever content we create on social media is actually something our audience is interested in and not something that we are interested in, right? So for this, I've already shared this tool before, but if you haven't seen it yet, it's really helpful. It's called Topic Mojo. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on topicmojo.com and then go into the question finder. And then we're gonna see what kind of questions do people have around Pilates. We're gonna just type that in and then the tool is gonna look for questions that our audience has around Pilates. And now you can see all the questions people are actually typing into either Google search bar or on Reddit or on Quora. So this is actually, Quora is one of my favorite. So now we can go in here and see like, does Pilates help lose fat? Does Pilates tone your stomach? Um, how many calories does Pilates um, burn? 10 minutes of Pilates a day, enough. So these are all great content ideas. Now we can create videos around this topic or we can create carousel around this topic. Already done for you content. So this is called Topic Mojo. You can go on here, it, it has a free version. So just go into the question finder and then type in your keyword. And the last tool is also going to help you write copy, but it can also generate content ideas for you. It's called copy.ai. I'm just on one of the idea generator and I'm just gonna type in uh, Pilates workout benefits and then see what kind of content and what kind of ideas copy.ai is coming up for me. So now I go down here and it will show me what kind of content I could create. So now I could do a Pilates workout sequence with an exercise ball, great idea. Or I could do um, a Pilates workout, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. I could do a Pilates workout that you could do at home. I could do a Pilates workout that helps you gain, gain muscle. So this tool can help you generate more ideas. And as you can see, it's not always super accurate, but it's definitely beneficial for brainstorming. So you're gonna use Topic Mojo, Copy.ai, or the Chat GPT to generate your content ideas. And now you can have this tool actually write captions for you. Now here's a disclaimer, I wouldn't just copy paste the captions because we're gonna see in a minute how accurate they are, but it helps you with structuring, it helps you with creating longer sentences, and especially if you're not native English like me, it can definitely help you with your writing process. So now let's see what we could do 
which one did we like the most out of these ideas I might do this content idea and now I'm going to go into Instagram captions and I'm gonna say write me a caption while the copy.ai is generating those ideas I'm gonna go back in to my chat tool and write the same thing write Instagram caption for Let's see what comes out here. And now we have a Instagram caption generated by um, this tool, not super helpful I find. So what I'm gonna do instead is write blog post to see if it comes out longer form. I like to have longer form captions. Um, so we have a short caption even with some hashtags generated by this tool and now I entered write blog post so now I have a longer form caption. Now what you can do with this caption as you can see there's a quick intro and then we have like different bullet points and what I like to do with these kind of um, style of captions is generate a carousel post for Instagram because they perform really really well because it makes a user stay longer on your Instagram account and that loops back to the algorithm that your post is valuable. So this is one way to generate captions and as you can see you have to play around with it a little bit and see what helps. Maybe this shorter caption that I use here could more be a caption for over, for a reels, right? Where you just want to have a short caption. And then we go back to copy.ai and we see this one here has also generated captions for us. So really just use these as inspiration or maybe copy paste a couple and still give it like a final twist in your own tone of voice or in your client's tone of voice. Now the last tool that can generate captions for you is called Pradies.ai and this tool is a bit of an all-in-one tool. It can generate captions, it can also create content for you. So let me show you how that works. So I'm going to use the same thing here. I'm going to use this caption and then I'm going to go into Pradies.ai, click create new and then type this in here and then click generate a post. And now you can see the tool not only wrote the caption for me, it also generated a picture. So as you can see, this tool does everything. And when I click edit, I can edit this creative here or I can go on caption and edit the caption. It also came up with some hashtags for me. So this tool really does everything in once. And once I like it and once I'm happy with it, I can click share. Now there's a full tutorial on how to use Pradies.ai, so I'm gonna link it for you. But I just wanted to let you know, so you can also generate captions with this tool and at the same time, it will create a creative for you. So now that we've written all the captions, I wanna come up with some hooks. And the hook is really the first Instagram caption or the first sentence you say in a video. So it's super important that is that you have a catchy hook, right? So I'm gonna go to my favorite tool and I'm gonna do hooks for Pilates videos. Gonna type that in here. And while this one is looking for hooks, I am going to actually show you another tool. This other tool is called contentrow.com and you can go onto Headline Generator. It has a free version as well. And I just typed in Pilates workout and now I have different headlines or hooks that I can use in my first sentence on the Instagram caption or in your video. And going back to the chat GPT, as you can see, these hooks are really, really strong. I really like this tool for hook generation. So transform your body with Pilates, no gym membership is required. That's a great hook to start your video or start your caption. So now I am ready, I have written my captions, I have written my hooks and I can generate my creatives. And like you saw in Pradies.ai, I would like to have something like this to generate some carousel posts. And obviously one tool that you can use is 
Canva. But another one that I've really come to love and I will share some more why I love this is called visme.com. So let me take you into that tool and how you can use it for content generation. So I'm in visme and now you can see you have all these different templates. You can create social media strategies and you can also create social media analytics reports. And I have, I will link some videos below here where I share with you why this is super helpful because you can connect your data to the tools and then it will automatically generate nice looking graphics for you. So check this out. But for now, I'm just going to go on carousel post and I'm going to choose an Instagram carousel post. So the re reason why I love to use Wisme is because it has also different templates and we don't use the same thing over and over again. So you can use Wisme, you can use Pradis.ai or you can just simply use Canva and then you generate your content. But as we all know, the most important thing these days is generate videos, editing videos. And one of my favorite tools is CapCut and you can actually use it on desktop. And that's what I really love because I don't want to edit all of my clients stuff on my phone because it clutters my phone. So you're just simply going to go on CapCut.com. And then as you can see, I don't even need to log in. I can just simply go on here and I can either start from scratch or I can use one of these templates. For now, I'm just going to go start from scratch, click create, and now you can upload your videos here or you can use Dropbox and Drive. So I'm just going to quickly upload a video to show you. Okay, so I have now the video in here. I drag it over here and now you can see that I have some different features down here. I have features down here. So what I like is the split part. That is always super important. And now I can say, okay, this clip here, I might want to speed up a little bit. So you can go on to this part here and speed it up because that is always something I like to do. And then you can go on here and say, okay, I want to have different um, transitions between my video. So then I go on to the transition and then it shows you different transitions that you can use from one clip to another. You can then also have different filters. You can add text and you can add audio or you can have a voiceover. And what's super helpful, it also has stock videos that you can use for your own TikToks or Reels. So for video editing, by far my favorite is CapCut. It's free. As you saw, you can do desktop version or it also has the app. Okay, now that we have done everything, we have um, edited it, we have the content ready, we have the captions ready, we need to schedule this. One thing you can do, you can actually schedule your content directly in Visme and it will then schedule to Instagram, Facebook or whatever you want to, or you can use a separate planner. One of the planners that I like is Metricool and Planoly. And as you can see here in Metricool, you can connect almost every single platform, including TikTok, and then schedule it directly in here. And it has really good analytics as well. This is how the new video planner in Planoly looks like. You can connect your TikTok account and then you will go on to clicking on your own profile and then the video planner will load up. And as you can see here, I've just added a test video. You can click on it. And then when you click on it, you will see the different options on what you can do. You can enter your captions for TikTok and you can also add the sound URL directly into here. Unfortunately, it doesn't work for Reels yet, aka it gives you a notification and it doesn't actually um, auto schedule, but it's still a, a benefit. And then what you can do is you can click on this customize button and then and then you can enter different captions for each short form video, which this part I find is really helpful. So you'll have TikTok reels, shorts and idea pins. One other thing you can do in this video planner is collect your ideas on the top here. You're going to click on the idea part and then you can import different audios that you have saved from TikTok. So I'm just going to grab a song here that I want to save. So I'm going to click 
um, that little arrow, copy link, then go back in here, enter the URL, and then you can even add notes to this. So what kind of TikTok you want to create with this song, save it here and then you have it for later, but you can also use that with your clients and add ideas here. So give this a try and let me know what you think. It's super important to know that not everything is auto scheduled and some have more benefits than others. So for example, what I can do in Planoly and what I cannot do in Metrical when it comes to Instagram Reels, I cannot choose a Reels cover. So that's something to consider. And if you want to use a trending song, you still have to manually post it. You can't auto schedule it and that's for any scheduler. So these are things to consider, but what I like as an all-in-one scheduler is Metrical. For video, I really like Planoly. And then also if you, let's say, just have Instagram content like carousel posts, you can create it in Visme and then directly connect it to your Instagram account and schedule it from there. So these are my favorite tools for you to use in 2023. And of course, if there are new tools coming out, I will share them with you as well. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you want me to cover a specific topic in my next videos, let me know in the comments below. Make sure that you watch the next video where, we sh where I share with you how to create workflows as a social media manager. See you there.